You've been editing CNN project notes like this and you'd like to edit them like this. If you really like editing them like this, I will automate the process. But until then, here's how you can do it. For this demonstration, I've placed a drawing in a brand new folder. The first step is to use CNM options under the ribbon or the pull down menu and then browse to the CNM program folder and look for cnmedit.exe. This will set your project notes editor as cnmedit.exe. When you do that, the next time you try to do anything with notes, edit or create a table, CNN will convert the file to a CSV format. And since we're editing, it opens it up in the CNN editor. All we need to do is exit without saving. We changed the editor and we edited the notes. Now we need to change the name of the note. So let's go to our project folder and change the extension of the note to CSV. You may need to use the view option in your explorer to go to options and reveal uh, file extensions uncheck hide extensions for known file types. We've changed the name of the file and we need to tell CNM we've changed it. So let's go to options again and change the name of the file to constnot.csv. Alright, now they're in sync. We can just check it by trying to edit one last time. We'll never again click that edit button. And that's important because we may make changes that are not compatible with the CNM editor even though they are compatible with CNM. Now that CNM is using a CSV file in a CSV format, all we need to do is open that CSV file with our spreadsheet, Excel or LibreOffice. And it will come in looking like a spreadsheet. And that's it. You use backslash ends to do carriage returns in notes. And you can clean up the format of the file and play with it a little bit and see how it works with CNM as long as you don't save from the CNM editor. For example, here is some cleanup that you could do. You can delete all these lines of comment between notes. You can delete all these comments as well as the set CNM version 4.2 line. In the future I'll add a line to do automatic wrapping like this assuming we really like this format. So let's try it and thanks for watching.